Yo, what is going on guys? This is Raj from OTR Gaming TV and in today's video we're going to be talking about Need for Speed Payback, the SUV car list. They're bringing back SUVs guys. Now, the last time I played Need for Speed and they had SUVs was Need for Speed Underground 2, which they had the Lincoln Navigator, they had the Hummer H2 and they had the Cadillac Escalade. Those were three nice SUVs guys, but there wasn't that money. But finally, Need for Speed Payback is also bringing back SUVs. Now, I've seen obviously videos of the X6, which you don't know is a BMW SUV. Been driving around on-road and off-road, but they also are bringing out the Land Rover Defender 110 double cap pickup. Now this is, this looks like a nice car guys, and I think mainly It'll be used for off-roading however as you've seen in the video i'm gonna show you a little clip of the x6 that was also in on road actually yeah that was racing on road so i don't even know if this is going to be both you know because they might have created a spec like in the crew 2 for a dirt spec where it's better off-road than it is on road so this is a jaguar land rover and it's it's actually a beautiful car guys look at the picture it's all right um Look, it looks pretty, I don't know how I would really customize the car, guys. I mean, if you look at the image, it doesn't look all that. You know, it spits out 121 brake horsepower. It's a 2.2 liter turbo diesel. I think it might be a fast car, but I don't know how I'll customize that. Guys, what do you think? I'm going to show you some pictures of this um, Land Rover Defender. It looks okay. doesn't look all that, but I'm thinking if I was to make it, I'd probably make it black on black put some nice shiny rims on it different type of body kit on it see how that looks but that's just one of the SUVs in the game um, the next SUV will be as I said previously was the BMW X6 so let's go to that now this is obviously a monster guys you've seen this in the trailer as a bad guy car it's it's beautiful guys we've also played with the BMW X6 in the crew and I'm telling you this is this car's a beast off-road evil car on-road evil car this is a big boy car guys 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 engine spits out 567 brake horsepower this will be a nice car to have in need for speed payback it will be a really good car guys it appears in the trailer which was released on June 2nd and also a vehicle used by the house now for those of you who's thinking who the house is it's um, in according to the storyline the house are the bad guys in need for speed payback they control everything and they want to take you down um, it also is a playable vehicle in an off-road race which again I'm gonna show you the video if I can find it I'll show you the video too so that's the second SUV in need for speed payback I already know what I'm gonna do to that guy, car guys I'll make it black or I'll make it white depending on what I want depending on the colors as well I could even make a chrome blue depending if that's there now the next SUV available is the Ford F-150 SVT Raptor 2016 version again another beast of a car I think this one is also going to be used for off-road this is a 3.5 litre twin turbo V char uh, twin turbo charged V6 and it spits out 444 brake horsepower the F-150 appeared in Need for Speed Payback again in the trailer on June the 2nd 2017 and it's also going to be used as a platinum car pack so it'll probably be used as a DLC guys so if you buy the DLCs or maybe even pre-order it will come as it says a unique platinum f-150 svt raptor is included with the platinum car pack so again this is a dlc vehicle might not be in it straight away which is kind of annoying because the game i think when the game comes out like back in the good old days everything was in the game and now it seems like you have to buy every single thing with money in in-game purchases oh god guys these game companies are getting really greedy with their money and to be honest I'm not even a fan of the F-150 Raptor, so I'm not even going to buy the Platinum Pack, depending what else comes with this Platinum Pack. But, again, a nice vehicle to have. It's also in the crew and the crew too, but need to be paid back and pull this out. Another off-road vehicle, and I think it can be used on-road. What do you think, guys? Don't you think these game companies are getting real greedy? We're trying to get their hands on our money. 
anyway moving on this is what i'm looking forward to guys mercedes-benz g63 amg this is a g-wagon guys and it looks absolutely beautiful it was seen in the need for speed payback in an off-road gameplay again this that video was released on august the 30th i'm gonna try to get you the little trailer for that as well but this car is beautiful guys i haven't actually seen a g-wagon in in a need for speed game or even in the crew games for a long time and this is completely different it's very completely different and i i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this car guys it's gonna sound evil it's gonna look evil i'm just hoping that you can get this car for free and it's not part of no platinum or dlc pack but guys the g-wagon tell me in the comments below who's gonna be driving the g-wagon i might even do a g-wagon cruise with my subscribers because i know you can get about eight people in need for speed so far which is kind of crap but g-wagon cruise guys or mercedes amg cruise there's a list of AMG, uh, amgs we're gonna go through later on but this this g-wagon guys 5.5 liter twin turbo charged v8 engine and it spits out 537 brake horsepower that's a lot of horses and a lot of power for a g-wagon it's a 5.5 liter car guys now this this car is actually fast 5.4 seconds 0 to 60 oh my god g-wagon cruise guys hit me up in the comments let me know who wants a g-wagon cruise or any actually any other cruise we'll do that so yeah guys that is the suv car list in need for speed payback so far there's only three like in need for speed underground 2 there was only three we've got the land rover defender we've got the bmw x6 and we've got the mercedes amg g63 2012 plate now i'm excited to have these suvs back in need for speed because the only reason really is because the customization in 2015 Need for Speed was crazy. It was off the hook. I'm not going to lie. The, the only most game that comes to mind with that type of customization was Midnight Club LA. Which was on the PS3. And the customization in Need for Speed 2015 matches that closely. I mean you can make your car really look unique guys. I mean you can make your car stand out. You know make your own vinyls. So for me when these SUVs come out it will actually give me a real good chance of making a nice design. So guys, those are the free SUVs in Need for Speed Payback. If you found this video informative, please hit that like button, guys. It helps us a lot when you hit the like button. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Need for Speed Payback videos, Crew 2 videos, Crew videos. <laughs> you name it, guys. A lot of videos are coming out. Me and Omar and even Trixie, OTR Gaming TV, we're on this. We've hit 1,000 subscribers, guys. I'm really happy. I love you all. Thank you for the support. We'll make a separate video for that. Please hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what SUV you guys will be driving. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Now that was a damn clean ride.